And I always say this, and again, I'll, I'll mention it a million times. I really like the way that you write your books. You write it from a hacker's perspective with a hacker's mindset. And I'm with my background in networking, it's really nice to see your take on networking. But Occupy the Web, you've said this multiple times, and it's the reason I think that you wrote this book. Linux is one of those skills that you have to have, right? Yeah, Linux is one of those fundamental skills that every hacker has to have. The book grew out of my experience of training hackers for the U.S. military and the intelligence community. And when I used to do that, and this is quite a few years now, it's at least 10 years ago now, I used to get a room full of very talented people who wanted to be trained in hacking. And a good number of them had never used Linux before. And so I couldn't really train them without taking some time to be able to train them on Linux first. And so I developed a little handbook for them and we'd spend the first day or so going through Linux basics so that they could go on to the more advanced stuff. And then that grew into a book. And uh, when I when I first developed the handbook for the military, it was very small. And so one of our goals with Linux Basics for Hackers was to keep it small. You know, as a matter of fact, I told the publisher I wanted it to be less than 250 pages. And we did that. It's pretty small. It's it's succinct, it's concise, it covers the what you need to know to get started. You know, we don't put a lot of depth and a lot of detail because you know, there's a lot of books out there, you know, that are, are great books that cover Linux in great depth and detail, but nobody reads those books. Exactly, right? exactly. <laughs> so I wanted a book that was accessible, that people would actually read from cover to cover, and that's what has happened. It's become the best-selling Linux book in the last five years, and so it continues to sell extraordinarily well five years later. And so that's why the book was written, was to get people started, to get them into Linux, because so often we'd be training people who had only spent their life in a, a Mac OS or a Windows environment and just weren't familiar with the command line in Linux. So this is what the book is designed for. Of course, I also open up the book with the the first line of the book is hacking is the most important skill set of the 21st century. And I will re-emphasize that hacking is the most important skill set of the 21st century. If you look at you know what's going on in the world today, it's once again played out that hacking is playing a key role in geopolitical events. It's playing roles in espionage is playing roles in criminal activity. All of these things are part of hacking. I'm not saying all of it's necessarily good. What I'm saying is the most important skill set of the 21st century. So if you want to play a role in the most important skill set, you know, this is the place to start is Linux basics for hackers. Get your Linux skills down first, and then you can move on to the more interesting and more advanced material, but you got to have those Linux skills first. I think yeah, I see it a lot. And I'm, I'm, I, you deal with a lot of beginners. I'm, sh I'm assuming you see it all the time. They want to run before they can even crawl, right? Exactly. And once again, I've seen this for, for many, many years. And that's that was the whole purpose of the book is to get you to get you up and running so that you can go and do whatever you're going to do with hacking. But if you don't have the Linux skills, you really, you, you know, you're putting the, you know, the old saying that the cart before the horse, you got to have the Linux skills, you got to have the networking skills. Those are the two fundamentals you have to have to be able to function in this world. Why why use Linux? Um, I mean, I mean, then there's, there's, you've given us a good reason to write the book, but why, why is Linux so important? Well, Linux is, is different than the other operating systems in that it's, Basically, it's all open. It's open source. It's open. You can see all the source code. And that is why people have developed their tools for Linux. I mean, there are tools that are developed for Windows, and there's some for Mac, and there's some for Unix. But most, probably 90 to 95% of the hacking tools are developed for Linux. Why Linux? Because it's open source. The People who are developing the tools can see the source code. 
and use it. Linux is open source. It's transparent. It allows you to have granular control over the system things that you're not going to see in a Mac OS or a Windows system. And, and probably the best reason for a beginner outside of these kind of esoteric reasons is that most of the tools are written for Linux, right? Yeah. I mean, they're they're almost, almost all written for Linux, almost all. So if you don't know Linux, you're, you're going to miss out. You know, you're just simply not going to have the capability that you're going to you know get here if you're trying to do it in a Windows environment. And one of my criticisms of, say, for instance, the certified ethical hacker certification is that they don't emphasize Linux. They're, they're trying to teach hacking from a Windows perspective, and they don't require that you know Linux. And that is a disservice to anybody who's trying to achieve that certification. Because if you don't know Linux, you're not a hacker. <laughs> let's let's be really clear okay if you don't if you don't know linux you're not a hacker you might call yourself a hacker you might call yourself a certified ethical hacker you might call yourself anything a pen tester but if you don't know linux you're not really a hacker i love that i think you've just summarized it right there <laughs>